In case you missed it last week, I showed an image in forecasts during the newscast that I think explains how California has one of the most unique climates in the country based on one image, and it's this one here behind me. This is the average rainfall that falls across the entire United States in the month of July. And when you get into the shades of deep blue over here, these are places that get anywhere from five to six inches of rain for the entire month. When you get into red, it's maybe a quarter of an inch. Look at the deep reds for California and how California sticks out like a sore thumb. And it's the area in white that really sets the bar for how unique we are. Everywhere in white there, that seahorse shape through the Central Valley of California. That is the only place in the entire United States that on average doesn't get any rain in the month of July. It rains in Arizona more than it does here in the month of July. So I think that really drives a point home about just how unique our climate is. That really stands out and I think surprises a lot of people, although if you've lived here, you know it doesn't rain in July. So now what we care about in terms of looking ahead to fire season, when can we expect the rain to start picking up here in California? And if we look at it using this same visualization, by August, we know things haven't changed all that much. We're still deep in the shade of red. By September, technically, maybe on average, you could say there's a little more rain, but it's not a significant enough improvement. By October, keep your fingers crossed, maybe you notice a little bit of rain, but the way the last several winters have gone, not really. And I'm gonna explain why that is an important pattern in a second. But it's not really until we get to November. In fact, November, December, January, February. We live on those four months here when it comes to getting rain on the landscape. Watch what happens on November. The map really starts getting colorful for us. Now, California and the Pacific Northwest is leading the country in rainfall. Up on the Redwood Coast and in the Northern Sierra. Now I'm gonna add in December and the colors will, 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 are really gonna brighten up here. Now there's a caveat to this. This is the climate normals looking at the record from 1981 to 2010. And as Paul Hagen explained in a great weather extra he did last week, that's how we figure out what climate normals are. We take it in 30 year chunks. And then every decade we update to the next 30 years. So we're already seeing a clear pattern that's changing this story for California and climate change is playing a significant role. Let's look at the rainfall again. See the months going along the bottom there from July into December. It's just kind of a generic scale over here because I want you to see how the rainfall increases as we get into September, October, but really into November and December. What we've noticed recently and what science has already documented in some pretty good research papers that have come out is that climate change is now causing the rains to come later. It's squeezing the rainfall year. We're still getting the same amount of rain. We're just getting it in a more condensed period of time, which means we're drying out in September and October. The rains are coming later. Now, when you take the landscape, the vegetation, how dry it gets throughout the course of the year, this is what that arc used to look like. The landscape used to be at its driest in September. Then the rain would start and the dryness would start to go down and we'd get a little bit out of the fire danger. But of course, that arc now has to keep pace with the rainfall year coming later. And when we put fire season on here, you can see how fire season has now extended into October and November. But that's only half of the problem because it just so happens that when we get into October and November, if we haven't gotten rain on the landscape, and as I'm sure you already know, this year the landscape is already at historically dry levels. If we're still vulnerably dry by the time we get to October and November, one of the other unique features of California's climate is that's when the offshore winds begin. October and November, it starts getting windy in an offshore wind event, which is now increasingly being called Diablo winds. They called them the Santa Ana winds down in LA for a long time. And now the local term here has caught on recently. We call ours the Diablo wind. Those are the notorious dry and hot winds that really give us our greatest fire concern. And now that we're keeping the landscape drier into September and October, we're bringing a dry landscape into a time of year where we then add an, an additional layer of vulnerability thanks to those offshore winds. That's the concern when it comes to those images. If you look at where we are for fire season for 2021, we're already outpacing 2020 by a huge margin. 
And that is a very concerning image when you look at that, considering we know how bad 2020 was. But let's not lose sight of this. 2020, at this point in the year, we had not yet had that huge lightning siege. That's really what set things off. And it was the lightning storms in late August that made 2020 so historic. So it's almost, you can't say it's almost certain, but it's highly unlikely we would see anything like that lightning siege again. So it's not like we're going to get that kind of a fire situation this year. But what remains our concern is this season by the time we get into October and November, because the landscape is at historically dry levels. It's drier now than it was last year because we're deeper in the drought. And if this pattern holds with the rainfall, however much we get, and keep your fingers crossed, we get good rain. If it still comes later and we're still sitting here vulnerable by the time we get to the offshore winds in October and November, that's really the time when we start focusing on the fire concerns across the landscape here in California. And it is a different scenario than what we were looking at 10 years ago and climate change is certainly playing a large role in that. That's this week's Weather Extra. Thanks for checking in. Paul Hagan will have another one next week.